Welcome to part five of walking on the Route 119. There I am. Woohoo! Freedom! <laughs> I got the reflection of the Patriot in the window. I love that. I'll see if I get a reflection over here. But, anyways, yeah, welcome to part five walking on the Route 119 Moor Path. There's the reflection of the Patriot. USA! 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 <laughs> oh yeah, okay. we'll do the side view. There I am. That's how they see me all the time. If I had a if I had a real cameraman instead of me, <laughs> I, I'd be able to get more uh, whole body shots of me anyway. But I will. There's a guy who wants to do some video with me. So when I'll be able to afford it. I'll, uh, I'll get him out here with me. But uh, it's kind of sad. I, I donate all my time for nothing. <laughs> you know, this I, you know, this one lady will say, are you that guy who walks around with the drum? I said, no, ma'am, I don't go around collecting money. I've inspired guys like that to walk and do donations for whatever cause. But my only donation I ask is for them to tell the soldiers that they love them for them to love their country, for them to be be brave, be strong, stand tall, walk tall. Wait, be brave, be wait, be, yeah, be brave, be strong, stand tall, walk proud, and ma and mainly talk loud. Cause that's what I, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to just inspire patriotism. And today's video is. I'm inspiring people to think about this because in, the, in it's been 150 years since the Civil War and this president is the greatest divider of a country that I've ever seen in a matter of almost four years he has divided this country he can lie he can lie and he can lie and the, and the people who follow him drank some kind of freaking Kool-Aid now the problem is, you want to know what the problem is? It's the Democrat Republican frame of mind that they have beat into us for, well, since the Civil War. I tell you what, it's time for a third party, my friends. And like I said, if the, the name of this video is, look at this, the love and pride of the land you live in is the greatest weapon of all, states' rights. States' rights, my friends. The federal Nazi government is trying to, they, all year, since this year has started, last year I call it the year of the Patriot, this year it's end the Fed or freedom is dead. Right now in, in Switzerland, the elite bankers that actually run this world, they, they, uh, they run petro BP Petroleum. You guys didn't know, you never, I know you didn't put one and two together. You've been hearing about the world bankers a lot because people like me have been busting my head against the wall trying to get you to listen to me. We have to end the Federal Reserve or freedom is dead. We have to destroy the power of these elite bankers who have been in power since the end, well, since the French Revolution. You, you can trace the powers of, uh, and the roots of these elite bankers clear back to the French Revolution. All right, so, uh, they actually, on my go to go to the bottom of this, go to the front, bottom of all my videos, and this this blog will be up by the time uh, I get the first one uploaded, first one of these videos uploaded. Um, but check out the one about Bilderberg. Uh, the, the elite bankers are actually gathering in Switzerland to talk about how to destroy the internet, destroy the freedom of speech, to keep us in a war, to make us, to make us think it's Saudi Arabia and, and, the, uh, and all the, uh, the Arabs and uh, the, the people in control of the oil over there in the desert, they're trying to make us go to war against them because they want to raise the cost of gas up to $7 a gallon, my friends. It's time for a Texas Tea Party at the White House to tell Obama, no way, we're gonna, no way. He wants to have parties at the White House all the time. We're gonna have a party at the White House. We're gonna have a Tex, 
a three million Texas Tea Party, three million Patriot Texas Tea Party at the White House. And I tell you what, we're going to let them hear us. And then we're going to take the Tea Party over to Capitol Hill. And we're going to say, it's time to end the Federal Reserve because they are the reason why you can the shadow, the dark shadows that run these puppets like George Bush and Obama. And like I said, I am free, free at last. Uh, I'm able to talk the truth out here on the road. And I love this country. And I love it that Alabama stood up and, and they, they, they showed the federal government that they will not be dictated by a Nazi fascist government because our founding fathers set our founding fathers set up checks and balances because the, so the states would have rights. So Washington DC wouldn't be England. And that's what they have become, my dear friends. But this is the second age of enlightenment, my friends. Right now, we can win this war just as a info, info war on the internet. All you have to do is pass my videos around because at the bottom of every video is my website. Okay, I do all the hard work for you. I do all the blogs. I put all the information together to wake up the people to this tyrannical federal Nazi government that is trying, they stepped in in Arizona. They told Arizona, you can't pass an illegal immigration invasion law. That's what's going on. We're having an invasion of illegal people to take away our jobs. I can't get a second job because of the illegal aliens. I want to work three jobs. I want to make it in this country. So do you blame them? We love Mexicans. We love Canadians. But we don't like them coming in and taking our jobs. It's not their fault. It's the federal government's fault. It's the federal government's fault. So we're passing laws. Arizona passed a law. The federal Nazi government said, nah, you can't do it. So federal Nazi judge uh, said, no, you tell pass a law against illegal immigration. The federal Nazi judge that didn't in check that. Then, all right, well, just recently, last week, go to my website, read about, read about Texas, the, the blog I have about Texas. Uh, the eyes of freedom are in Texas because they passed, they were going to pass a law against the TSA. But now the federal government came in and said, we're going to treat you like Libya. We're going to have a no-fly zone. And if you bring up a hell, if you even try to fly out of an airport, we'll shoot you down. <laughs> so they didn't pass the law against the TSA. So what's Alabama do this week? They said, F you people in Washington. It's states rights. This is the United States of America. This isn't the Uni United Union of Nazi Germany. We are the people and we stand for freedom. Listen to me, people in Harrisburg. You better start passing freedom laws. We don't have till the 2012 election to vote people like me into office. You have to be a patriot. And our congressmen in, in Washington, D.C., and senators, Pennsylvania congressmen, Pennsylvania senators, this message is to you. I'm the American patriot. I'm an extreme patriot. And I'm running for Congress again. I'm coming to Washington, D.C. It's, it's time for a third party. And I run with the Constitution Party. I'm running for United States Congress for the third time in a row. I will run until elected. But if I'm not elected, I will lead the way. Because in all great wars, the guy who carries the flag isn't usually the guy who gets to the other side. My goal is to inspire patriots to stand up all around the, this country, all around this state. I want you to run for Congress. I want you to, I want someone to come to the Constitution Party who has power, who has money. And I'll back you. If, if, you, if you get nominated, uh, by the Constitution Party, I will back you. I will be your voice. I am a flag man, and I lead the way. I am a Johnny Appleseed for patriotism. I am Paul Revere to warn everybody of the tyranny of this Nazi federal government run by the Nazi, uh, the Nazi bankers who control all the world governments of the world. We are waking up. This is. This is the second age of enlightenment, my dear friends. I have walked 
after today's 10 mile march, I'll be at 7,304 miles walking for our brave soldiers and for they, because they, and, and patriotism, because uh, the love of this land is the secret. See, the, the new the people, the world bankers who are trying to make a new world order, one of their main goals is to take away patriotism. I knew that when I first started walking. I didn't realize I was right on. And that's what's become of America. We will not lose our patriotism. We will stand and fight because we are free and we have the freedom of speech. And we are already taking it. Obama, we're already in the streets, man. If you take away the internet, that'll be your worst thing because we're in the streets, we're organizing, and we're taking control of our state. That's right, our state. And I'm telling you people in Harrisburg, if you don't start passing laws against the TSA and against illegal immigration like they did in Texas and like they did in uh, Arizona and Utah and sweet home Alabama, we're coming down there and we're gonna make you pass laws for freedom because we are free and we're using the freedom of speech to be our most powerful weapon and our, and our because our most powerful weapon is the love of the land that we live in. And like in the Civil War, if we have to divide this state, we will. We will call this Southwestern and parts of uh, West Virginia and parts of Maryland. We will make our own state. We will go against you, Harrisburg and the federal government. No matter what, we will stand, we will fight because the American Christian will never, never live on his knees in tyranny. We will die for freedom standing and fighting against you. And that's the way it's gonna be because that